Hi everyone, this is Vilpi and welcome back to another video. I have been busy quite at work, that's why I've been uploading less. But now, today, I'm going to do speed test between the Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro 5G and the iPhone 12. The Mi 10T Pro with this shiny blue color is equipped with the Snapdragon 865 and comes with 8GB of RAM. And on the left side, I have the iPhone 12 which has the latest chipset from Apple, the A14 Bionic, and like previous year, it still comes with 4GB of RAM. We begin our test by making sure there is no app running in the background. I should also mention that these two devices are connected to the same network as well. We will start our test with an internet download speed test. Let's go and open the app. So the app was loaded much faster on the iPhone, on the Mi 10T Pro, for some reason, the app got closed in the first one anyhow, and I had to open it again. Anyhow, let's go and start the download speed test. We get 132 for download speed and 184 megabits upload on the Mi 10T Pro. And on the iPhone 12, we get 137 for download and 134 for the upload. So the download was a bit faster on the iPhone. Let's open Netflix. For Netflix, it was a bit faster on the iPhone. Now we try Instagram. It was also a bit faster on the iPhone. Let's try YouTube. I would say it was very similar performance on both two devices. Maybe, maybe just slightly a bit faster on the iPhone. Now we go and open YouTube Music. Yeah, YouTube music was much faster on the iPhone. Twitter is also faster on iPhone. Overall, it seems the iPhone is a faster phone. Have that in mind that this is not only because of the chipset, it's also about how these two phones have been optimized to get the highest performance from their chip. NordVPN was maybe a bit faster on the 10T Pro. But let's try to reopen it again and see how that goes. Yeah, still a bit a bit faster on the T10 Pro. Spotify. It was faster on the iPhone. WhatsApp. They did very similar job. Amazon. I would say it was a bit faster on the um, on the iPhone actually. AliExpress again very similar performance. Now let's open some games and test the performance for the games. Temper Run I think uh, the 10T Pro finished loading the game faster. Now let's go and open Subway Surfer. Yeah, I think iPhone finished the loading of the game faster than the 10T Pro. Now we go and try the PUBG Mobile. It seems to be, yeah, iPhone finished loading the game faster. Now let's try Traffic Rider. Yeah, clearly faster on the iPhone. So I would say overall the iPhone seems to be a faster phone in gaming performance as well as opening the application. We also try open the Chrome and I think the starting was a bit faster on the 10T Pro but for opening a web page, iPhone I guess finished the loading a bit faster than the 10T Pro. I also do the RAM management test. I will fast forward this part and give you my overall understanding of the RAM management. So I would say the iPhone had all the games and applications running still in the background and did a pretty good job with that 4GB of RAM. 
but the 10T Pro was quite disappointing because most of the apps had to relaunch again so you can slow down the video and uh, check yourself but lots of application had to relaunch and this is a known issue for me in my previous speed test on Android devices in general I think this RAM management thing is messing things up somehow. I really would like to know your experience on this. What do you guys think? Do you have the same experience? Write them down in the comments. But for me, the situation has been like this. You can check some other speed tests I have had this and to verify it. But wrapping up this video, I think I can easily say that the iPhone 12 is a faster phone and does a better job in the RAM management department as well but it's not only about the chipset because for instance Android phones with identical hardware can perform differently so it's also a lot to do with how the phone manufacturers optimize the OS with the hardware too and in that regard for sure Apple has been always doing a pretty good job Anyhow, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my contents, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and until the next one.